the bait tactic. What it is, why customers use it, and how you need to respond. That's coming up. As a customer service professional, you encounter a wide array of behaviors from your customers. And some of these behaviors can be confrontational. They can be challenging. Baiting, the bait tactic really stands out as a behavior that can be challenging to navigate. In these situations, customers try to provoke, frustrate, or elicit a negative reaction from you. You must recognize the baiting tactic and have a solid strategy so that you don't get pulled into your customer's dark psychology. Here are four common baiting behaviors and my strategies for exactly how you need to handle each bait tactic. Customers might bombard you with aggressive or loaded questions to unsettle you or provoke an argument. Here's the strategy I want you to use. Maintain composure and respond with calm, factual answers. Don't engage in arguments. Present your answers or any next steps as you normally would. If your customer interrupts you, I want you to pause for a beat then continue with your answer. Here's an example. Mr. Jones, here's what we know. Here's what we've done and here's what's next. The customer insults you or criticizes you to cause you to become agitated and to control your reaction. Any number of insults can be hurled at you, including those about your accent, race, gender, or age. The customer is trying to provoke you, fluster you, or frustrate you. Here's a strategy I want you to use. Do not take these attacks personally. It can feel personal because the attacks are cruel and they are loaded to provoke you but I want you to assertively redirect the conversation back to the issue, emphasizing your willingness to assist. Here's an example. This is ridiculous. I can't understand a word you're saying with that accent. Can't they hire people who actually speak properly? I'm so sorry to hear that. And I appreciate you bringing this to my attention. Is there a specific part of what I've said that you'd like me to repeat or clarify? Here, I want you to be confident, feel confident, sound confident. Don't let the customer know that they're getting to you. It's just your accent in general. It's making it difficult for me to understand the instructions you're giving me. I'm fully trained and capable of assisting you. I kindly ask for your respectful communication so we can focus on resolving your issue. How may I help you today? It's important that you stay focused on assertively redirecting the customer back to the issue, back to how you can help and don't let them get under your skin. Exaggerating the severity of an issue or the consequences of not resolving it immediately is another tactic used to pressure you. Here's your strategy. I want you to acknowledge your customer's feelings while objectively assessing the situation. Give your customer step-by-step solutions to address their concerns. My 3W technique, that's here's what we know, here's what we've done, here's what's next, is again a great approach You can learn about that 3W technique in the video link that I have dropped below.
customers may threaten to leave negative reviews or escalate the issue publicly to gain leverage. Here is your three-step strategy. I want you to express your understanding of their frustration and the importance of their satisfaction. That is, let them know that getting to the bottom of this is as important to you as it is to them. Offer to work through the problem together to reach a fair and satisfactory resolution. And this one is important. Don't try to persuade your customer not to write a negative review. I never want you to sound nervous or intimidated. So instead, focus on resolving the problem or guiding your customer to the next steps, all the while you are confident, you are assertive, you are strong. It's important for me to say that when you use my strategies, you remain professional, you still show empathy, you are solution focused, you are confident, you are assertive in your remarks. Now, you've heard me say it before, if you watch a lot of my videos, my definition of assertive is say what you mean. Mean what you say without being mean when you say it. When you apply my strategies to your confrontational customers, the customers who are using the bait tactic, you are going to lower the temperature. You will regain control and guide that interaction to closure or the next steps. You got this. I'm so glad that you decided to stop on my video today. That really makes my day. Thank you so much. If you found this talk about bait tactics and what you need to do helpful, do me a favor and like this video. Also, while you're at it, I want you to consider subscribing to my channel. That way you are always the first to know when I release a new video. And finally, I want you to come over to myrutgolden.com. On my website, you can learn about my training options. You can read through my blog posts and we can just get to know each other a little better. All right, I'll see you later. Tunnel vision when I hit the holland. Working on that cause my mind is on an island. Told my babies I'll be homeless, so don't stay up. So don't stay up. Breaks my heart to see them sad, so I won't wait up, need it all. All that's mine, I need it now. I lost my patience the same week, I lost my smile. My baby pressed me, said I'm acting like a child. I took some L's, can I?